Hello and welcome to Glenn's Small Engine. In this video I'm going to show you why these spindles don't last very long. It's almost like they're designed to fail. But we have uh, Husqvarna, AYP, John Deere, Cub, MTD. They're all the same. They look a little different but they're made the same way. Some of them have grease certs. Some of them don't. And in this video I'm going to show you how to correct the problem and even add a grease cert if yours don't have one. And you can hear the bearing on this one. How rough it is. This spindle here was only used one season and it's, it's already wore out. And so even though the ones with a grease cert, the grease never gets to the bearing because the bearings are sealed on both sides. So when you put the grease in, it just goes into a pocket here. It never does anything for the bearing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix all that and how to make one of these last a long time, if not the life of the mower. So just hang on and we'll get started. And you can do this to any spindle, whether it's a AYP, Cup Cadet, MTD, John Deere, Husqvarna. The first thing we're going to do is take this spindle apart, remove these old bearings. I'll show you how dry they are. We're going to add a grease cert. Add a small weep hole for the grease. And I'll show you how to fix the bearings where the grease will get to them and help the bearings. There's a little spacer between these bearings. We want to make sure we get that spacer back in there. Uh, you can use a, a drift or a piece of steel or anything just to reach down in there and get that bearing now. There she goes. I hope you can hear that. Just extremely dry. This spacer is very critical. Make sure it goes back in here between the two bearings. This bearing's not as bad as the other one, but I can, I can feel it. It's not as noisy. So we're going to throw them out of the way. I think I'll take this seal off this one so we can just see how much grease is, is put in there. Look at that. There's not hardly any grease in here. It's terrible. Our two new bearings, which for this particular spindle, these bearings are MTD part number 941-0919. But if yours could be different than this. The number on the bearing is 6204-2RS. Now these John Deere spindles and some of these other Cub spindles and the AYP spindle, Husqvarna spindle would definitely take a different bearing. So just look at your number on your bearing and you can I go to a bearing store and buy a generic bearing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in the side of this and put us a grease cert in it. Alright, we're going to use a 1364 drill bit. I'm showing on my chart that that's the size for a quarter twenty. So we're going to drill a hole right there. Use a little WD-40 on our quarter twenty tap. All right, then we're going to screw our reset in. Five sixteenths nut size there. All right, you can see now we have a grease cert, just in case yours doesn't have one. All right, and so this back side we're gonna drill a little, a little seep hole or a weep hole. 
for the extra grease to get out, we have to let that grease vent escape as we're pressure pushing it into the spindle or we'll damage our bearings. All right, this is an eighth inch bit. And this little screw, I believe it's an 832nd. Actually, it's a self-tapping screw. But I don't want to put a lot of stress on it or possibly break it. So I'm going to go ahead and run a 832nd tap in there just to help it get started. Little WD-40 on there. Okay, so see now there's our screw that will let our grease vent. All you need to do is just pop this screw out right quick. Every time before you grease it, just takes a second. All right, so I'm gonna kind of clean this up here a little bit, and then we'll I'll show you what to do to put it back together. Okay, now remember these old bearings didn't have any grease in them, right? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove one of the seals in each bearing. We're going to pop out the inside seal. Now you can see these bearings, they just, they didn't use an overabundance of grease. But we're going to put this together with the inside seal removed from the bearings so the grease will get to them. We're going to put it back together the same way it came apart. We got everything nice and clean. And the inside seal is out. There's our spacer that keeps the bearings from getting crushed. If you need to tap on this a little bit lightly, gently put the lint. you can tell that it changes tones when it bottoms out do not strike the shaft directly on the threads or you'll be buying a new one all right the inside seal is out we're going to slide that down in there then our spacer Underneath our pulley, our pulley, our nut, I can already tell there's absolutely no noise, but anyway, let's go ahead and tighten that down. We'll tighten this some more once we get the blade on there. We can use the blade to hold it, or you can use this. This is a little faster. All right, that's real smooth now. Okay, so now we're gonna put grease in here until it starts to come out this hole here. All right. Okay, you can see that it's full because we're losing grease out of our seep hole around here. I'll go ahead and hit it one more time. Make sure, yep, it's full. So now we're going to wipe all this extra grease off of everything. It'll get all over you if you don't when you're trying to put everything back together. And you can see that last pump that it had a pretty solid stream coming out that little seep hole. I'm gonna go ahead and put this screw in the seep hole there. And that'll keep water and debris out of our bearing. That is very quiet. I don't hear anything. So now we have a, a greasable spindle with a greaser that's actually doing something. It won't be like these old dried bearings after a year. 
this spindle here could possibly outlast the mower. You can rebuild your spindles, put your weep hole in it and grease them. The same thing works for a, a John Deere, Husqvarna, AYP, Poland Pro, Cub Cadet, MTD, Troy Bill, all the same. They just look a little different and use different bearing part numbers. So I hope this video helps you and saves you some money. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from Glenn Small Engine in Greenville, Texas.